we are in Chural Mala. Why not? This is one of the worst hit landslide locations in Kerala. Remember, this was a normal stream, but what you see here is absolute devastation. The landslide has resulted in huge rocks, a lot of soil coming, crashing down at a great pace, somewhere around 2 or 3 in the morning. This has led to at least two villages completely getting wiped off of sorts and also the bridge that was across the stream has been completely devastated. In fact, in the first few hours of the rescue operation in the morning, the security forces, uh, the rescue forces here, in fact, were struggling to get to the other side of this bridge. Finally, a zip line was put in place. The stream, the current was so high and the quantum of water that was flowing also was much larger than what you see here. And uh, they managed to get across to the other side of this bridge. What has happened is a lot of people were trapped under the debris. Many of them rescued, many of them have been found dead. And uh, the government still doesn't know if there are others who are trapped under the debris. And that's the reason the rescue operation continues. Remember, you can see it's almost raining here. Uh, it's nearing midnight, but the rescue operation continues. All of them coming in big numbers, the NDRF, the Indian Army. We saw officials of the Indian Coast Guard as well, the police, the local uh, civil defense, uh, they the state defense uh, response force, all of them in big numbers here, trying to ensure that in the first 24 hours, uh, they can rescue as many people as possible. But the fear is the rain. There's more prediction of rain, and that could hamper the rescue operation, increase the risk of further landslides. We'll have to see how the Kerala government manages this humongous crisis. Well, it's very close to midnight here in Chural Mala in Kerala and uh, the rescue and search operation still continues here uh, nearly around 18 to 20 hours after the devastating landslide in Vayanad. This is one of the worst hit areas. You can still see a lot of personnel from the NDRF, from the Kerala Civil Defence, from various organisations continuing to move machinery and men to the other side of the stream. Remember, this is where the main landslide happened. You can see it has devastated the near vicinity, whether it's uh, the plantation in the vicinity, uh, huge buildings, including one of them being a school, all of them devastated. Uh, but there are tourist homes, there are resorts, there are uh, perhaps homestays as well. And right now, officials here telling us that uh, they have managed to rescue whoever they have identified so far or they have been made aware of, but they still believe that there might be others who are trapped underneath the debris here. And that search continues. The fact that there are a lot of uh, private uh, establishments here, whether it's uh, homestays or tourist homes, means that uh, getting an exact count would take time. That's the reason uh, the state uh, not giving up or not taking any chances. It has moved in all its machinery at its disposal from the neighboring districts as well. Uh, in fact, we've seen everyone uh, from police to civil defense to health authorities, all of them mobilized here and uh, the operation continues all night. Uh, remember, in the initial few hours, it was difficult for the authorities to move to the other side of the stream. The current was too strong. There was absolutely no connect here. There was no bridge. Whatever structure was here was uh, devastated because of this landslide. And finally, they could put this zip line kind of a mechanism here, move across, and they built this now to move machinery and men, and also move the injured. And some of them who are also were found dead, all of them have been moved. We have seen volunteers at multiple places ensuring that there's enough food, water, ambulances can move in quickly and uh, a lot of organizations as well who come here to ensure that they extend their support. It's one of the devastating landslides that Kerala has seen in the recent history. Subha se rescue operation chal raha hai. Abhi tak kitne logo ko zinda idha se nikala gaya hai, sir? Ji, kal raat teen baje bok saran shuru hoa idhar. Chaar baje humare log idhar aya tha. Aya samay bohot muskil hai idhar. बहुत परेशान का हालत है इधर 200 से अधिक घर भूमि में धमा गया है इधर दबा गया है इधर और सैकड़ों लोगों को मौत है करोड़ों मालूम का नुकसान है इधर इस समय सौ से अधिक बॉडी इधर से मिला है 
और 52 बोडी लगभग 50 किलोमीटर दूर से मलप्पुरम जिला से मिल गया हमको बोडी बहुत बहुत अधि बोडी सिर नहीं पैर नहीं हाथ नहीं और सर यू आल्सो हैव बीन पार्ट ऑफ दिस रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन व्हाट्स व्हाट्स द फियर हियर आर देयर मोर पीपल हु आर ट्रैप्ड अंडरनीथ द डेब्री इज देयर एस्टीमेट ऑफ हाउ मेनी पीपल वर प्रेजेंट व्हेन दिस लैंडस्लाइड अकर्ड देयर आर एक्चुअली दिस इज अफेक्टेड अराउंड 150 हाउसेस टोटली डैमेज्ड एंड देयर आर अराउंड 200 पीपल आर मिसिंग अराउंड 100 प्लस बॉडीज आर ऑलरेडी रिकवर्ड and still around 100 plus people are under the debris so uh, this actually what happened is this uh, from this site it is almost some 2 3 kilometers away the uh, real landslide has happened hmm. and that landslide it it made a new river yeah, new the river landslide. is totally yeah totally totally uh, the direction has totally changed and it has totally ruined this bridge so that that, that totally that that become an island It's totally cut out of from the scene. So now the NDRF is already taken around 22 bodies from the other side of this, and this already shifted, and we are waiting for the remaining bodies from there. We came to know that around 150 people are already stranded in the other area. Luckily, they are having enough food and other things, but they are that this totally got cut from this mainland. So tomorrow, that is our motto to go and rescue those people from there. due to uh, a uh, uh, chance of further rain and there is uh, fear of further landslide uh, the night rescue operation is totally halted and we are again we are going to start, restart it from tomorrow morning yeah. well as he mentioned uh, this is going to be a big challenge uh, will it rain overnight early hours of the morning that's what led to the landslide uh, also the risk of further landslide uh, is that something that will that's turned out to be a huge challenge in this particular uh, rescue operation it has been from morning there has been rains uh, on and off and then uh, i think in the evening it subsided a bit so that has helped uh, the ndrf team to uh, to actively be involved and and uh, to rescue a lot of people so at least uh, i think most of them uh, stuck on the other side have been rescued except for around 16 people they have identified and they are in the safe place mm -hmm. so they they could uh, uh, you know get them out tomorrow so uh, the evenings at night it is risky to uh, continue the research operations here but still there are people the uh, it's going on but there uh, the team is coming off from there so uh, i think they it's been called off for tonight there you go multiple challenges uh, for the rescue officials here uh, including the ndrf various other agencies to ensure that they can quickly recover uh, uh, bodies they can search and trace Uh, people who are alive send them to the nearby facility in fact uh, we have seen hundreds of ambulances uh, cross by even when we were traveling to churamala and uh, we have seen officials keeping several other ambulances on standby here uh, to ensure that anyone who is uh, who's uh, who's been uh, the, the ndrf manages to get them out of the debris they are uh, rushed to the hospital immediately uh, in fact there are times when the bodies have been uh, recovered a good few kilometers away from where this landslide has happened well perhaps uh, this biggest tragedy or biggest landslide that uh, kerala has witnessed today uh, will see the search operation continuing and uh, the government is saying that that they will ensure they mobilize all resources whether it's from the indian coast guard the indian army the indian air force which has pressed its uh, choppers from the solur air, air base in uh, coimbatore neighboring states too have pitched in and uh, they're ensuring that uh, they efficiently carry out this uh, search and rescue operation here in the landslide hit wynad district of kerala